All right, now this 4th of July, I want everybody out there, all the boys and all the girls, to eat as many hamburgers and as many hot dogs as you can to burn more fat, and to build more muscle. Now, hear me out, let me explain. So, what I mean by eating as many hamburgers and hot dogs as you can on the 4th of July to burn more fat and build more muscle is, I actually do want you to focus on consuming as much protein as possible on the 4th of July holiday, and there's a few reasons why. So when it reg in regards to fat loss, every single day your body burns X amount of calories through your basal metabolism, through, through exercise, and through fidgeting, and just moving around. There's another factor that goes into your total daily energy expenditure, which is often overlooked, and that's what's called TEF, or the thermic effect of food. So in regards to fat loss, anytime you wanna lose body fat, you have to ensure you're in a negative energy balance at the end of the day. That means you're gonna expend out more calories than you're putting in. And one of those factors that can create a larger energy balance, meaning you're gonna have you burning more calories throughout the day, is to consume more protein. The reason why is because protein carries the highest TEF, the highest thermic effect of food. So what that means is when your body breaks down and digests protein, you actually burn the most amount of calories versus carbohydrates and fat. So, like I said earlier, you need to have an energy balance that's negative at the end of the day or at the end of the week in order to lose body fat. So let's say on the 4th of July, maybe you go a little bit overboard. Well, that's okay. You're gonna eat as much protein as possible, stay as active as possible, and just get back on track. Since protein does carry the highest thermic effect of food, you'll burn more calories than carbohydrates and protein. All right, the second reason why you're gonna to wanna to consume as many hamburgers and hot dogs on the 4th of July is because it's the most satiating. Protein versus fats and carbohydrates keeps you feeling fuller the longest. A lot of us go to 4th of July cookouts and go to the lake or to the beach or whatever. It's usually a pretty much an all day festivity, am I right? There's a buffet line, there's maybe, you know, people being served food, there's a cookout, there's sweets and treats. So what happens is a lot of us obviously reach first when we get over there, we get a drink or we get there and we usually reach first for the cookies and brownies because they're usually out first. The, the meat's not cooked yet. So you eat a lot of those and just eat, eat and then you go throughout the day and eat a lot more food and sweets and treats and this and that and the other and you're just eating all day. If you put the bulk of your focus on consuming protein first and throughout the day, you will keep yourself fuller so you'll prevent yourself from overdoing it essentially. All right, so those are the two reasons why you should consume as many hamburgers and hot dogs on 4th of July to help you aid in fat loss. Now, what about building muscle? Why does that matter? So you wanna focus on consuming protein also in regards to muscle building. See, one thing that happens when we go to the 4th of July is we also like to consume the booze keys, which hell, I do too. We like to have fun, kick back, have a couple with friends and family and celebrate this amazing country. So one thing that does happen when you consume alcohol is that it really does hinder muscle protein synthesis. That's why when people talk about drinking too much alcohol that it can hinder your gains. Well, it really can if you're over that moderation amount and if you're doing it consistently. Now, one day a week, a couple drinks, you're probably gonna be okay. But what you can do to combat that as best you can is to consume more protein that day. That way, when your body does finally metabolize out all that alcohol, you will already have some dietary protein and amino acids available for your body to reinitiate that muscle protein synthesis. So those are my three reasons why I feel like you guys should eat as many hamburgers and hot dogs as you can on the food lot. Obviously, take this with a grain of salt. You don't really wanna eat a million hot dogs and hamburgers, but I do want you to focus on primarily consuming protein. When you get to the buffet table or the picnic table and you see all the sweets and treats, try to fill up the bulk of your plate with protein. That doesn't mean you can't have carbohydrates or fat foods, but if you primarily consume protein, you'll find yourself filling up and then you won't maybe be reaching for those too many sweets and treats. Now, Last but not least, let's talk about alcohol a little bit. We already talked about how it can potentially hinder your gains, but if you're gonna consume it, you might as well do it the smart way. So 
there are four macronutrients. There's protein, fat, and carbohydrates, but there's also alcohol. Alcohol is the fourth macro that a lot of people forget about that alcohol actually does give your body calories as well. So for every shot, it's about 10 grams of alcohol. There's seven calories per gram versus fat, which is nine, and then protein and carbohydrates, which is four calories per gram. So you can see it's, it's kind of high per gram. So it adds up rather quickly. It's always better to stick to very nice, clean liquors straight, maybe on the rocks or with a zero calorie mixer. And the reason being is because you're only going to be consuming the calories from the alcohol versus calories from the alcohol plus the mixer and all the added other things. The second thing is you obviously want to hydrate as much as possible. Alcohol is absolutely going to dehydrate you. There's no question about it. Even if it's one or two drinks and then you're out in the sun on top of it, you're going to get dehydrated. I always recommend starting off the day before you go to your festivities, drinking a lot of water. And then every hour or so, make sure you drink about eight to 16 ounces, a nice glass in between your alcoholic drinks as well. Pro tip, that'll also let you party longer. Think about that. Drinking, hydrating through the day, metabolizing out the alcohol. You'll probably drink less alcohol overall. And you're not going to pass out early and be that, that guy that passes out at nine o'clock gets face drawn on. So you don't want that to happen now, do you? So from everybody here at sixpackabs.com, we want to wish everybody a very fun, but also a very safe 4th of July. We did talk about alcohol and partying and having fun. And I just want to make sure that everybody does have fun responsibly. So please do that for us. Now, what we're going to do here at Six Pack to thank you guys for being such awesome customers and subscribers to us is we're going to put out a special discount for the 4th of July. The discount code is fireworks25. And that's going to get you 25% off of any order on the website. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Make sure and subscribe, comment below and like this video. If you enjoyed what you saw here at sixpackabs.com, we really do love you all and appreciate your support. Have a great 4th of July and celebrate responsibly. We'll see you next time.